Hey, and welcome to Growing Trees from Seed with Jeremiah Johnson, 84. And in today's episode, we're going to be looking at birch trees in Birch Seeds to Birch Trees, Part 1. Birch trees are very diverse, with over 50 different species in the Northern Hemisphere alone, most of which can be found in Asia. And one of the most common, which we're going to be looking at today, is the paper birch, which can be found in woodlands, but also in sand dunes, exposed granite rock outcrops, and limestone cliff edges. These beautiful trees can offer a quick growth and shade with a unique outlook on the landscape. They can be found all the way from Labrador across Canada, up into Alaska, and from the northern U.S. states from Michigan all the way into the Rockies of Montana. No matter what time of the year it is, the birch tree, specifically the paper birch, is not very hard to find. Standing out amongst the green, luscious forests, the paper birch stands out with its white, unique bark. Additionally unique to the birch tree is the seed dispersals. Birch seeds will fall from late August all the way through winter into early April. Slowly drying out, these large portions of seed crops will hit peak dispersal in November-December, making winter the ideal time to search for seeds. Hanging out at the very tips of the branches of the birch tree, you can find the seeds, or more specifically known as catkins. Typically birch trees will produce seed crops every other year, but one catkin can hold upwards of a thousand seeds, much more than one individual would ever need. Very similar to pine cones, these catkins will start off facing upwards or straight out with a yellow or a light green color. After drying out in the summer months, the catkins will expand, turning a light brown or a darkish red. Once dried out and expanded, these catkins will break apart, creating a rain of seeds. Wind and the winter air will blow these seeds considerable distances across snow and ice, making winter walks an ideal time to search for seeds. Male flowers are first seen in August, with catkins taking about a year to produce, elongating then in mid-April, expanding into a bright yellow, sometimes green color, exposing the pollen sacs. In the same tree, a reddish female catkin is then exposed from the opening buds at a slightly different time to receive the wind and blowing the pollen into the other trees. In the winter months, it would be common to see chickadee, or finches, or even grouse feeding on the birch tree seeds from the open winter floors. The trees are now frozen, but the birch tree seeds are just starting to come out. And as previously mentioned, winter walks can be a perfect time to head out in search of birch tree seeds, especially after a fresh snowfall, as the winter wind comes in, breaking those catkins open, fluttering to the ground as a seed of rain of birch tree seeds. As you can see, there are many different types of birch trees, such as silver birch, paper birch, canoe birch, and the list goes on. In part two of Birch Seeds to Birch Trees, we're going to be looking at different ways you can store your seeds, making sure that they're ready to plant for the summer and spring. Additionally, we're going to be looking at different ways to plant, as well as different ways to keep your seeds in a top-notch condition for future years to come. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed part one birch seeds to birch trees if you enjoyed part one make sure to subscribe to be instantly notified of upcoming episodes including birch seeds to birch trees part two as well as many other upcoming videos coming out this spring in season two of growing your trees from seed thanks again see you next time